By the way, I'm not planning to put this out until this weekend. I just figured we might as well record it now. I know. So it's I'm, called pre-recording. No, I think it's called post-recording. I'll murder you. That's called ghost recording. Hey, what's up, you guys? No, 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 no. Hey there, Internet. Welcome to a video that's approximately a week past due, but that's because last Saturday I was having a violent disagreement with the contents of my own stomach, to put it mildly. It was so gross. So we didn't record this video, <laughs> and instead we're taking advantage of Labor Day to record a video about a Labor Day. You're so clever. I know, right? Thanks. Not ours, in case you're wondering. Super not pregnant. Stealth baby, I know, right? We're very, very excited because as of this past Friday? August Saturday? 31. Which was Friday. At 6.33 p.m. Oh, you know the time? I didn't even know the time. Someone asked me yesterday. You're welcome. I, said I had, I knew it was like early evening or late afternoon, but I didn't know exactly where. Anyway, my sister and brother-in-law had a baby. A tiny with a baby person. It's a tiny little person that's like this big. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Yep. Her name is Carolyn. She's got these teeny tiny wrinkly fingers and toes, like the wrinkliest baby I think <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. Like just her hands and feet, not like yes. her whole body. She didn't Benjamin Button on us. Just kind of like her hands are a uh, golden, no, shoot, what is it? Sunmade? Yeah, Sunmade. Her what hands is, and feet are sponsored by Sunmade. What is that? It's the raisin company. Is that the one with the girl yeah. in the hat? Anyway, it's a cute baby. I feel like she has a very Barlow nose. Exhibit A. <laughs> Counter exhibit A. <laughs> Do I have a Barlow well, nose? Well, I was talking to my friend and she saw the picture of Carolyn and was like, oh my gosh, that's a Barlow baby. Like you can definitely tell that it's your sister's baby. It's always nice when you can tell that it is in fact the baby of the parents who they think <laughs> it is the baby of. But yeah, we're just really excited. This is now our collective sixth niece and or nephew five on my side and one on her side. I'm very, very thankful that for a large portion of my life, I've been able to have nieces and nephews. I mean, I had my first in seventh or eighth grade. It's like trial parenting. It's really great. <laughs> They're like halfway between friends and children, especially as like I've gotten older. They're all the it's way like, children. They're just like our little mini friends. But the oldest one is only 16 years younger than me. So that, Only 16. I have friends who are 16 years older than me. That's not the point. It is actually the point. The point is that <laughs> They're like halfway between being friends and children for whom I'm responsible. It is trial parenting. It's definitely more trial parenting the younger that they are, I think. Yeah. Like when you're holding like when you're holding a baby, obviously holding a baby. Got practice not dropping. And which is my biggest fear as far as potential future parenting. Is that really your biggest fear? I mean, I don't think I can over exaggerate how stressed it makes me trying to like pass off a baby. You just there gotta are like make so sure. So many things that go wrong. I don't even feel comfortable picking up my cat or my puppy, let alone a human <laughs> being who will like splatter if I drop them. You won't drop them. You just have to make sure that the head and the neck are supported and then you support the bum and you- Hashtag support the bum. <laughs> So the first three I did not hold when they were infants in the hospital. I waited until they were like six to nine months because they actually seemed like they wouldn't die instantly if I touched them. It's terrifying. It's not that scary. I'm not a huge baby person, but- You huge baby person. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know. Babies- Be tripping. I'll, <laughs> no, I'll say this. A large portion of the population, whenever they see a baby, they're like, oh, baby! And I'm like, mm -mm, I don't like your baby. Like with my nieces, it's different because, I mean, they're my nieces. Quick Strapple, how do you feel about babies on airplanes? <sighs> I don't know where I was going with that point. I don't either. It's nice that we have so many siblings ahead of us that can mm -hmm. kind of A, show us the ropes and B, like, to be able to see how they deal with things and things that have worked for them and things that they maybe wish they would have done differently. It's nice to be able to have that baseline to go off of. Unless all of the research that comes out in the next five years completely reverses all of the things, which, you know, that happens. But now we just have our little fuzzy baby. Hello. Well, and, and the other one who's over. Oh, she's sleeping. There. Yeah, we're pretty happy with our fuzzy friends. They're much less dangerous to drop. You can just throw Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> So that's pretty much it. We just wanted to say that we're excited and how great it is to be an aunt and uncle for the sixth time and welcome little tiny wrinkly Carolyn to the world, our favorite raisin baby.
If you're watching this ever, like- Oh gosh, oh gosh, that is something I had never thought of until this very moment. What? She can watch this like in six years when she's old enough to cognitively process video input. I I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that your uncle called you a wrinkly raisin, baby. I'm sure you're less wrinkly now. <laughs> Hopefully. Otherwise you're gonna need to get some Neutrogena on that face stat. Deuces.